All right, welcome back. And uh, this morning, let's draw the very cool looking, I think it's called Drehar or Drahar from House of the Dragon. And he's one of the craft feeders. And he's got a really cool looking mask. Uh, his skin is very gnarly, which is kind of disgusting. Uh, but the lighting is cool. i uh, got some really um, hot rim lighting right here. And then it's got a lot of shine on his mask. So let's just give this a shot. It feels like something fun to draw. You know, we don't have to take this too seriously. And, you know, it doesn't really look like him or, you know, any specific character because of the mask. So that's a good thing. So I'm just going to use a 2B and let's just go for it and see how this goes. All right, so let's sketch this. I'm just going to have the phone on my side here. Let's just say, I'll draw about that big maybe, approximately. Okay, see if I can find myself to this, but probably not because you know how my sketching style is like, kind of get a little bit lazy or impatient. Okay, maybe that's a better word. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm drawing, I'm drawing this, this mass area. Let's see, I'm going to start with that. So here's the slant. So here's the corner of the mass right here. If I do to draw from corner to corner here, there is a slant. And the chin will be down here. There's a shadow. There's a slip. I know it's kind of strange. I'm, I'm drawing from the bottom, but I'm just trying to see this big shape first. This nose is going to be somewhere up here. Okay, and of course, see how how off I am on the uh, on the initial sketch here. So the nose, there's a slant here. Just giving myself a guideline. So I know my nose is off already. Nostril, and then let's go from this side. Eye. Yeah, I know this is a really rough, guys. Hope you guys can. Uh, stand this kind of quick sketching just one of those days just kind of want to draw something you know not too serious this kind of looks like batman but all right let's keep going so if I look up here, um, I'm trying to see the peak of his head and it's kind of like right above his eye right here somewhere. So it's somewhere right here. And it's got that really cool kind of like a leaf shape thing going on here. Again, when, um, when I'm sketching, I like to draw these angular lines better just to block out the shapes. And extend the line so you can see, give yourself a little bit more reference. Just go ahead and do things like that. Those lines actually help to line up other things. Let's see if we can refine this a little bit here. Just hair coming down. Okay, it looks a little slanted right now. Push this back a little bit, maybe. His forehead here needs to be a little bit bigger. I haven't sketched like this for a while. I've been doing doing it the other other style, where you kind of just start with eye, and then just kind of shade and go from there. So I'm kind of going back to the the looseness of this, the the really quick sketching and very soft. Just kind of keep it loose. Okay, so I think fix part of the proportion here. It looks this one looks a little bit better. All right, so here's this line, uh, which is a shadow line right here, the Terminator. That's kind of nice to have because this is gives you this shape here, so that almost becomes like a guy line. And then in here, eye shape is off. Let me fix this real quick. Not as apparent, it kind of blends in with the mass. It's a harsh line here. It's eye, so I'm just gonna sketch his eye. Okay, 
maybe something like that. Line here. Yeah, so, so sometimes these kind of strange angles, especially looking from the from the bottom, I always find it a little bit more difficult because we're not used to seeing, you know, faces that way. Okay, so I think yeah, that's okay. It's close enough. Let's just go for. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. All right, so let's start with the eyes. Now that I have everything kind of laid out, let's just go for it. Eye in here, and I'll adjust the rest according to to what I've drawn to the eye. So, so we're almost seeing the full iris here. Highlights right here. So this is dark, and this is in the shade. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more shading first. In here is very dark. The height, the lightest part is like right here. Okay, so there's a little darkness right here. Okay, so let's go with that. And then all the, oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot of little details here. So when I'm focusing on the big shapes, you don't see all those little things. There's gonna be a lot of little shiny spots, which could be a little bit tricky. So here's let's concentrate on this. This is hot, huge uh, highlight here. This comes around right here, and then this goes straight down here. So I'll just draw this right here, so I know this is the highlight. This part right here is the darkest. It just sinks in most. Could come all the way down here. So all this is gonna be actually most of this is gonna be pretty dark. Just trying to see certain patches. This needs to be darker. This needs to be darker. Let's try to get this highlight here. Once I get this highlight. Hopefully, it'll help to set the tone of the other values around it. This patch here, yeah, there's a lot of little details. Okay, so let's just get this first. Line down here. See, I don't want to start from the bottom here because I want to make sure. If I draw this, um, this might be wrong. I'd rather concentrate on the top part here. Let's draw in his nose. His nose is really cool. Here's the nostril. Nostril, and then it's tricky here. There's a highlight right here. This part's dark. There's a terminator for the nose right here. This is this part's cool right here. This is nice. And then right here, it's gonna be dark. The nice shine. Right here is dark. So I'm seeing things in in uh, patches, I know this is dog just hit that like that. Comes down here, a little bit more detail here. Yeah, the hard part for me right now is trying to concentrate on the bigger parts. Okay, so it's starting to come about. Um, I think the also have more detail and stuff. That way I can clean things up. Okay, so this part right here, darker. Actually, this is gonna be 
mostly dark, so. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to give him the mean brow right here. This needs to be darker here. Lighter here. Darker up top, darker right here. There's another line here, okay. Yeah, this eye right here. I'm getting lost right here, this should be darker. Okay. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit more. All right, let's move on to the other eye. So I'm gonna use this line right here. This is a very good line. Help me set the placement of the uh, all the other stuff around it. So this one kind of slants down almost. Down, down. Just trying to draw the opening here, and then this part's darker in here. Eyeball. Let's see. Again, it's almost a full shape here, but it's looking slightly up. There's a highlight. And again, nothing's gonna be white in here, so I'll just give it a little shade. I hope it's not crooked. I'll always draw this side slanted more, but. Dark, dark. Lighter here. It's back underneath the eye. Maybe the top right here. Too dark because now it looks like it's not looking up. Slightly darker up here. Um, that way we can show the eyeball actually round inside and it's looking up slightly. Hard to make the eyes a lot darker later. All right, let's just keep going. So this part here. Now the rim lighting here is cool. Pretty dark here. with these phones my hand touches it and it moves okay so let's draw in this let's fix this shape a little bit more I need to come in a little bit more here a little bit shadowing This is cool right here. Really hot highlight on the side. This part's darker. This one is pretty lighter here. This line here is very dark. Rim lighting here, and then here is the side. Rings hair is gonna be right here. The hair right here is important because it's gonna bring out this highlight right here on the side. The rim lighting. So this is gonna go all the way up, and this is gonna be all in the shade. Okay, so we have something up here. Uh, let's come down here and draw this. Because the mask here is really cool. So this comes around. I'm just concentrating the dark areas right here. This is still part of the mask. Here, here. 
that's very cool right here. Then a slip with jawline. Okay, so now I'm gonna fix this line down here. Maybe somewhere down here. It's kind of looking at the chin here, it's pretty tall. Wider than double this, no, this. Uh, so maybe somewhere around here. Okay, I can get this one shade. It's a terminator, we can exaggerate that. Okay, and then let's see. Looks like his mouth is probably open here. This is all dark. And then his teeth is gonna be on the bottom right here. So here's the lip. Shouldn't be all white. I guess it is in the shade. And then actually not much. The lower lip here looks like it's it's pretty round. I mean, it looks like it's smoothed out. You know, with the makeup and stuff. But okay, let's just go for it. But there is a little bit lighter edge here. It looks like. There's the corner. Yeah. So there's a little highlight right here. That's that's important to get that. So that we can get the expression. This um this lip right here. So this is in the shade, this is slightly darker. I hope I'm making sense here. I'm just kinda Babbling, trying to speak my mind as I sketch and let you know exactly what I'm thinking about. Okay, so yeah, it looks okay. I mean, it looks like his mouth. So now we can, let's see where we're gonna go into. Well, let's drop part of hair right here. Oh, come on. Really need to save this image. His hair is dark. The side here, we can just do these little loose strands. Obviously, need some cleanup later, but let's. Again, this is almost just like a first pass, right? Let's see. This is cool here. Let's clean this up. So right here is nice, those little shadows right here. The hair is cool. Um, we have to draw in some of this hair because that's just gives him this look. It's dark, dark. Strand. So I'm just gonna draw some of this, and it's a little bit lighter here, and then right here gets a little bit darker as it turns underneath the. Uh, the neck there. All right, let's come back up here and before drawing too much of the hair, let's come back and draw more of this stuff. This part's cool, but it's not a lot of a uh, Shading would be a little bit more tedious. So line here, right down in the middle. Shape up there. And then here is, I'll just draw, I don't know, just something. 
won't follow exactly because it's just a little bit too much detail here. Okay, so just very rough, dark, dark, dark. So now I can round it up. Sorry, my hand's a little awkward here. All right, this is wrong, way too short. So judging from the top here, it's higher than the peak here, right? So obviously mine's is wrong. Let's go up. And then the side here, just kind of go down and then vertical lines is right around here. Okay, so this is okay. Oh, my 2B is almost gone, all right. Might be good timing because then after I shade all this, I can sharpen it and that way you can get a little bit more detail maybe. Okay, so there is some shape here. So try to you know, try to get cool design. It shows amazing, seriously. The costuming, um, it's incredible. So so nicely directed. I can. I'm just so glad it's around because I haven't seen it. I could show like this for such a long time. Wow, we have such talented people. Okay, here, here. Okay, come on. Sorry. I should have saved the image. The phones keep blocking out. I tap it and then turns into small again because I'm still on a web, web page. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm pretty off here actually. Hopefully it's okay because it's not a crucial detail. Oh wow, this is, I am not seeing correctly this morning. What is up? So like this part right here needs to go out a lot more. Maybe something was weird. Well, good, part, good thing is that this stuff is pretty dark. So I just kind of go right over it. And even if it's wrong, probably won't notice it much. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there really shouldn't be any bright areas right here, other than these couple of lines right here. Very messy right here with the 2B. Okay, how is that? I think the hair will be actually pretty cool. I mean, Love the hair on this guy right here. So when I'm drawing, uh, what I'm thinking is just patches right here. This is dark. Right here is darker. Fade this out a little bit because it rounds up the chin. This is so um. Not a line here, but it's a little bit sharper, but then you gotta fade it out because it does round up, right? So you don't wanna draw a harsh line there. And then if you're to judge the values on this, um, the neck down here is, is darker than the chin. So I'm gonna make everything darker. Right, so now that I made this darker, this makes a little bit more sense now, right? 
So that's how you can judge it, just the area next to it. Check it out, see if you got the right value. If not, just go ahead and make it darker. And then once you, let's say once I made this darker, all of a sudden it pops. To me, it's like, okay, I got it, got it correct. And it looks more, um, more correct. I can actually feel the, the form now. So if you see something, just go ahead and do it. Because until you do it, it's just, it's hard to visualize. You know, once I put down value, then you can judge, um, you can say, oh, okay, well, this is too dark or too light. And that's, that's the whole process. Okay, there's a lot of little ugly stuff here. Why I skip through because actually looking at the skin kind of makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't like little bumps in the skin. Okay, so let's try to get maybe just to wrap this up right here. Yeah, so all this needs to be dark. Okay, so I think it's it's coming about, you know. Um Feels a little bit better. Obviously a lot more shading. I'm gonna sharpen up my pencil and then maybe look at it with a fresh eye, maybe give it a little bit of break. I'll look at it through the mirror and things like that so I can see um, the errors and hopefully I can correct those before I, I guess finalize the drawing or finish it up. So that's pretty much it for this. Um, I'll definitely keep going because this is, uh, I think there is potential for this to, uh, at least to draw in the hair and stuff to make it more of a complete drawing. So yeah, thanks for watching this. I know it's a little bit sketchy and maybe my instructions are not that good, but I really just want to draw this character because it is so cool. And this is just something fun, um, fun to draw, you know, not too serious because obviously we we'll, we can't see who it is. It'll still look like him even if I mess up, so. Okay, so I'll be right back to show you uh, hopefully a much better drawing. All right, I'm back and this is gonna be the final drawing for this guy here. And uh, a lot more shading and a lot more little details here. I was trying to get the shine on the mask and I, I don't think I was really successful at that because um, you know, in the, in the reference, it, it had a nice shine to it. It has all these different slightly different variation of the color, which was really cool. Obviously we can't have uh, color here in this black and white sketch. But I was trying to get the shine and I don't think it came across that way. Maybe a little bit here, but not too much. Um, but I really like the hair. That's why I end up drawing more of it because it is really cool. It has so much of a personality to this, uh, to this character. All right, so that's it. And I hope you guys like this and I will see you next time.